So, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Sheriff's Office. Um, I'm good friends with Sheriff Lamb. So. Outstanding. Yeah. No one cares about that. My boss is an elected official. There are signs with his face on them all over the place. He's been on 60 Days In, Live PD, all over the internet. Everyone knows Mark Lamb. So when I walk up to a car and the first words out of someone's mouth are, I want, I know Mark Lamb. Like, everyone knows Mark Lamb. Uh, after this stop, I actually, I had run into the sheriff kind of recently afterwards. And I was like, yeah, I ran into a guy and you know, he dropped your name. And he's like, I hate it when people do that. Oh, he goes, that someone drops my name. They don't know me that well because they know that I wouldn't allow someone to do that. I was like, all right, fair enough. It, during a traffic stop, there's no reason to bring that up under any circumstances. Because strange enough, so am I. Well, I'm Deputy Sloper. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is speed limit on this road is 35. Okay. And you accelerated to a top speed of 58. Don't run out of gas here. Did you say you're going to run out of gas? Yeah. Oh. I feel slower. like your engine works more efficiently, not at higher speeds. Yeah. I think that's a thing. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, but that's a thing. I feel like you got to wear your seatbelt. I feel like seatbelts are important for yeah. staying safe. safe. I know. I'm sorry. All right. By any chance, are you, are you low on blinker fluid today? Blinker fluid? Yeah. Like, no. Because it didn't, it oh, didn't yeah, yeah. work. Like, your blinker didn't work there. Did you just not use it? Oh, oh, look, it worked. Oh, it does work. Okay. Because, so, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The initial reason I stopped you was you're 67 miles an hour and oh. I posted 45 out on Hunt. That's and then fast. when you change lanes from the right lane to the left lane, and then the left lane into the left turn lane, none of those movements were indicated by any sort of use of any blinker anywhere. You are more than double the speed limit here. God. Oh. So, you know what the speed limit is here? I don't. Do you feel like that might be an important yes, piece of yes, information? Yes, yes. Okay, so, so see you, just, have, you have like people's houses here, yeah, and the roadway yeah. here. I actually live right in the neighborhood back here. I just moved here. So why do you have an Illinois identification card? Um, so because right now I'm in between licenses. Um, Which means your license is suspended. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, so let's let's just say, uh, hey man, my license, license. yeah, in, yeah. yeah like no, in yeah, between yeah. houses, where you're like, oh man, I got some of my stuff here. I got some, well, your license is suspended. So, what, what passenger, do you have a good license? Yes, okay, so wife. so, hey wife, um, so why isn't wife driving? Passenger is 100% good, driver driving dirty, happens all the time, all the time, but more frequently than I would like to admit. Um, I don't. If you have a good driver. Like in sitting in your passenger seat, let them be the driver. Like don't let them be a good licensed, insured passenger sitting in the passenger seat while you're doing something terrible that's gonna get you a, a ticket or you're driving on suspended, which is criminal. Like let the driver with the driver's license drive and just be a good co pilot. Like take care of the music and work the phone and I don't know, provide snacks or whatever co pilots do, but like don't drive dirty when you have a good passenger. Is this like a machismo uh, thing? Are you like, man, I gotta drive? I guess you can call it that. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be real honest with you. All right. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Okay. Let's go with the good news first. <laughs> okay, so your license does not appear to be suspended out of Illinois. Oh, okay, okay, word. The bad news is you're still doing more than double the speed limit and you're still getting a criminal citation for excessive speed. Can you do me a favor? I could do lots of favors. Can you please tell my son to listen to his parents? Put that back, put that back window down. Put it down. <laughs> Let me be are a you, parent for you. Are you not listening to your parents? You gotta listen to your parents. <laughs> Here we go, I'll get that to you there. I, I still listen to my mom. Absolutely true, 100%. Right now, she actually, the other day, she rode along with me and she told me to give someone a warning and I did because yep. I listened to my mom. So you catch a little bit of foreshadowing in this episode. I uh, talk to the kid in the back seat, I give him a sticker, I tell him, hey, I listen, still listen to my mom, my mom did a ride along, and I listened to her. But that episode is actually the next episode. So a little bit of foreshadowing, I don't know if you, you caught it the first time you saw this, um, but this is just a good example of how sometimes we're you know, a week or two um, out of sequence just because the episode with mom needed a lot more editing and, and Sam had a lot more work to do with it, so he, put this video out ahead of mom's video so that it gave him more time in the office to edit. Can I give him a sticker? Yeah. 
Okay. So, promise, promise to listen? Yes. So those are stickers, just like my badge. Ooh. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. All right. Is that a good example? I know. I'm, I'm sitting here <laughs> telling him, Daddy's a bad boy. I should have been following the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not kidding. Do you want mom, to mom, can you drive, yeah. please? Thank you. Since obviously you're the more responsible of the two. <laughs> All Tell right. Again. I'm gonna. She is the more. By the way, she's not only is she more responsible, but she's smarter than you too. Yeah, and right. she's always gonna be right. I know it. Hey man, I appreciate you being kind. Thank you so much. So that was episode 71, uh, 72. When mom rides long is next. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Tell other people to subscribe. Make the algorithm happy. Make YouTube happy. Make Frank and Sam happy. So if you could do that, I appreciate it and enjoy episode 72 with my mom. The reason I stopped you is you're talking on your phone as you're driving down the road holding it. Um, which hands free? They should not be using phones at all. It's a distraction. I agree. This day started out with. Mom doing a ride along with me. She had never done a ride along before and she wanted to meet Sheriff Lamb. So I arranged it with the sheriff to catch him when he was at the office. We went in, um, me and Sheriff Lamb and mom took some pictures. Uh, Sam was there and we sat down uh, in Sheriff Lamb's office to talk just the four of us. And it was Sheriff Lamb actually said, we should do an episode of Fridays with Frank's mom. And mom agreed to it. Sam's face lit up. I went down, emptied out the back seat of my car, made some room for Sam, and Sam videoed my mom's first ride along with me. So I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna write him a ticket for mm -hmm. this. I would. Would you? I would. As long as you would, I would. All right, we have the mom's stamp of approval. Just operating a vehicle while using a portable wireless communication device, just you know, super simple. Uh, I am more nervous than having Sheriff Lamb ride. Absolutely true. <laughs> Oh. So, because I, I could go home and get away from Sheriff Lamb. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to hear about this over Sunday dinner. Love it. This is my first in 22 years. So I get to see face up. <laughs> I get this to see incredible. what he really does. I got a, I got a big, big perma grin going on. See your driver's license, please. Uh, I don't have it on. You, you don't have it on you? Uh. Yeah. Gary Road. All right. So, mm -hmm. always a red flag. Someone's like, yeah, I don't have my driver's license with me. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you don't, huh? Even nope. mom knows. Mm. So, okay. Oh, hey, look, that's weird. He doesn't have a driver's license. And he's driving. That's how this happens. Yeah, good call. Let's Sounds see. like what? And he's got arrested in Mesa. He's been arrested oh. in Chandler. And he's been arrested in Gilbert. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh boy, so we've had all sorts of contacts with him. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, huh. gonna go ahead and give him a citation because oh, yeah. he he needs it real bad. Oh god, yeah. So we have 92. Oh, and he has no no paperwork whatsoever in that car. Well, then you're gonna have to really give it to him good. I feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, that learning 92. curve is not. Not the non-existent, no curse. Non-existent. Um, okay, so you don't not have a driver's license with you. You don't have a driver's license. I just have a temporary. That's one. different. You don't have a temporary one because you have an identification card because your driver's license is suspended. So you don't have a temporary one because temporary means that the state of Arizona would have given you the right to drive back, and you do not. You 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 don't have that privilege, right? It's not a right. For there we go. So does anyone in the car have a good driver's license? Can I see your driver's license? Oh, again. Oh, good, you don't have one either. Yeah. We just, we have a whole carload of people that just hate carrying driver's licenses. My sister doesn't have a driver's license either. With oh. her, but she says it's valid. And she showed me a photocopy of it. Okay. Which okay. I don't know why you carry a photocopy of your license and not just your license, but yeah. we can, uh, today we can yeah. work on that. Oh, she's out. There we go. Very cool, step on back. Appreciate it. Oh, what's that? Thank um, you, ma'am. I like it. It's hey, on sister's leg. It. Hey, thanks so much for having a good license. Don't let him drive. My favorite episode was that cocky kid that thought he knew the law. At the time when we videoed this was well before we started FridaysWithFrank.com. Um, now, along with watching Fridays with Frank, which mom still does, um, mom and I pack 
every single package that leaves FridaysWithFrank.com, um, whether it's a mug or a tumbler or a shirt or a hat, uh, mom's hands have been on that. Um, when I was out of town, she packed all the merch herself. When I'm in town, we pack them together. So, but that is, it is my special time with her. Uh, we kind of catch up on our days and talk about all the cool places that, uh, that Fridays with Frank merchandise goes, whether it's Australia or Canada or Germany or all across the United States. Um, it, it's, it's really neat and it's a, it's a neat time that we get to spend together. But if you've ordered something from FridaysWithFrank.com, or if you're going to order something, which I always suggest that you do because we got some pretty cool merch, um, when you get that, know that mom and I have, have both put our hands on, on that package and, uh, and she packs them with love because that's, because she's mom. That's what she does. The one in the blue Mustang? Okay, can you just- Episode mom, nine. Being, like you're being rude. What, what about, what about, what have I done that makes me rude? Yes. Yep, I, that is the majority of people's mom's favorite, favorite episode. And when in fact he knew nothing about the law. So I'm so proud of him. Say hi to this guy who just passed you. Yeah, seventy-one. Let's yeah. go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Mom, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Talk to this guy right now. Here we go. The reason I stopped you is you were twenty-one over the speed limit when you passed me. I'm so sorry. I absolutely think that that needs to result in a citation. They won't learn unless you give them a ticket. I feel the Mom's same. Mom's got it. I feel like. I feel like we're on That's the same. Funny. I feel like we're on the same page. Yeah. Your speed's a criminal amount of speed. I did not issue a criminal ticket since you've never been contacted by anyone in the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> Every day that he's been on the force, I have worried about him. In the first couple of years, I had anxiety so bad I couldn't watch the news anymore. Do you have a current proof of in uh, registration, please? Go oh, to the parking lot. Again. That's it right there. All right. Now this insurance is good all the way through 2024, so hang on to that one. So he was just stopped by Deputy Yeoman, who's a oh, traffic superstar. This guy's awesome. Um, in March of this year. So he was stopped. Let's see what we're doing. Is that that learning curve? Learning curve, yeah. Like one of my very favorite parts of this is when we're talking about a slow learner and mom and I both go like that. Um, I think I had done it in a previous video where I was talking to someone on the side of the road that I had contacted previously. And I was like, man, you're a slow learner. Like instead of your learning curve going like this, it's, it's like this. And obviously mom watches Fridays with Frank and I think she picked it up from there. And then we just both happened to do it at the same time. But watching that and seeing that we had the same mannerism at the same time, totally unrehearsed, uh, was one of my favorite parts of this video. Like that. Um, I love how we did that at the same time, Not totally unrehearsed. Um, he was stopped for no registration, for not having his registration card, and for not having current proof insurance. But he has all of those today. Do you ever excited about it? I don't know. Okay. Well, if you're not excited about it, nice. apparently mom, mom rules today. Won't you, won't you make all the calls? You were a cluster that day. You didn't have anything. No, 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 no. But you have everything today. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. My mom's in the car. She said to give you a break. If you could just not speed in yeah. Pinal County anymore, that'd be great. Good enough? Yep. All right, man, put your seatbelt on. You. Drive safe. He just looked at me, and I think he thought to himself, your mom's with you. Mom's with you. <laughs> My mom told me to give you a break. Give, give him a break. He's a good son. He's a very good son. And uh, he takes care of his mom. I do. She takes care of me.